when uh, we sit, we don't really listen anything. Uh, we don't pay any attention. Uh, you know, if, that's even the birds are singing and we are sitting. If I listen to their uh, singing and thinking these are the birds, then it's not Zazen anymore. S even when I do this, you know, there's a separation between person sitting and the sound. There's a kind of an interesting koan story in Zen and Dogen likes this. A teacher asked a student, uh, showing, pointing the wind, wind wheel. And he, the teacher asked, is the wind make sound? Or does the bell make sound? Uh, then the student said, my mind makes sound. Neither wind nor bell, but my mind makes uh, a sound. That means, uh, you know, when uh, wind blow the wind bell, uh, it makes the vibration, and the vi that vibration uh, of the air reach to my ear, then it becomes sound. So before the you know the, the vibration reaching my ear, there's no sound, right? Sound. So sound is only inside of our mind. Our mind. I think that is why that the student said my mind make, sure, make the sound. But Dogen said that is not true. Uh, because, you know, even if my mind is working, if the, uh, the wind doesn't blow and the ring, uh, wind bell doesn't, you know, sh shake and the air doesn't vibrate, then there's no sound. So all of them are making sound. That means in this entire universe is making sound. So there's no uh, subject who listen and no object that or sound that is uh, heard. That is uh, what Dogen called it a total function. We are part of it. So there's no such uh, person who is listening, no sound that come to me, but this entire world is making that sound through this person. And this person is only a tiny part of it. <laughs>